Today, I have a special treat for you, a new entry in the Afterlife Conversations series. If you're a fan of women's empowerment, you're going to love this one. Unexpected, audacious, a real firecracker, Governor Ann Richards of Texas. She was feisty with a personality bigger than her beloved state. She was also a civil rights activist and an avowed feminist. Even though she's now speaking from the other side of the veil, she's still keeping an eye on things and has some mighty big opinions about the state of the world today. No matter that she wasn't on my list to speak with, she unceremoniously elbowed her way to the front of the line exclaiming, here we go, we're off to the races. <laughs> Friends, I present to you the otherworldly Ann Richards. What a cotton-picking mess. I never in my wildest nightmares dreamed the state of the U.S. today. Those Republicans have lost their ever-loving minds. Do they honestly think women are going to roll back the sidewalks and embrace a 1950s mindset and way of life? Oh, hell no. We've come too far to turn back now. They may have won the battle, but they will lose the war. Then, like always, the women will roll up their sleeves and clean up the mess. Don't worry, ladies. Once we right this ship, the menfolk will realize our way is a better fit for the 21st century. Yes, you have a big job ahead of you, but you were born for this, and there's nothing you can't handle when you work together for the common good. It's going to take a lot of elbow grease to get those stains out, but out they will come, and the perpetrators will be sent packing. There's no room in the divine feminine iteration of this world for troglodytes and their little toadies. Toss them out like yesterday's stale coffee. That way, at least they'll do some good as compost. Throw them on the compost heap, then wash your hands of them you're ready to turn your focus to more productive pursuits. Once you get finished setting things right in the good old USA, turn your attention to the greater problems of the world. Women all over the world are waking up to the truth that they've been sold a bill of goods, and now they're ready to write their own ticket. I'll cheer you on from afar as my path is presently focused in another direction. Never fear. I'll be back around again in due time. Then it's watch out world. Anything else you want to say about the U.S.? Nope. I think I covered the highlights. The rest is up to you. Can I ask you what you think of Holland Taylor's one woman show about your life? Smiling from ear to ear, she says, Sublime. I love watching her in action. Sometimes I have to pinch myself to remember I'm the real Ann Richards. I'm pleased as punch and honored to be remembered. You know, all of us over here appreciate it when you remember us, especially if it's fondly. Holland accentuated my best characteristics. Don't fool yourself. I could go on a real tear if someone got on my bad side. I was no angel. But back then, dealing with those swaggering Texans, I had to give as good as I got. It weren't easy. I paid the price for my ebullience, believe you me. They extracted their revenge out of my hide. Underneath the finery I wore, you'd have found some pretty deep scars. But in those days, you had to keep a stiff upper lip and never let them see a chink in your armor. There were many days I longed for a simpler life where everything wasn't a battle. Some days the oppression was suffocating. Not that far removed from some of the demonization and punishment from previous lives. You think when you incarnate that everything will be different. This time you won't let people push you around, take advantage of you, or rain on your parade. Then reality takes a big bite out of your behind and you find out it's the same story playing out again. The details change. Some of the players change. But the core story has an unnerving familiarity. I'm proud to say I busted out of that paradigm and forged my own path as Anne. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. But I've passed the baton to the next generation. 
when I decide to come back, I'm looking forward to stepping into an enlightened age shaped by the sensibilities of the divine feminine, a world where people care about the welfare of one another and the planet, a world where there's the opportunity to slow down and create a quality, fulfilling life instead of just surviving the rat race. Oh my, so much time and opportunity squandered that way. Then when you get to the other side and see how futile it all was, she shakes her head. Yeah, humans are experts at that. Now it's time to become experts at more enlightened living, where living in alignment with soul, planet, and one another is the highest priority. No more oppressing those who've been blessed with more pigment in their skin. That ridiculous hogwash should have been outlawed in the 20th century. Let's make darn sure it is in the 21st. Could you do that for me? Pretty please? Yes, ma'am. The light workers of the world are diligently doing their best to bring that dream to fruition right now. We will not rest until then. What's life like on your side of the veil? Do you hang out with any of your old friends? Any special projects you're involved in? Life over here is spacious, expansive, flexible, sometimes exciting, other times a little tame. Yes, I regularly bump into old friends and some former adversaries. Over here, all our differences evaporate. Everyone is united in purpose of soul expansion. We're all working towards being more prepared for the next round. There's great excitement at the coming transformation, both to witness it and to revel in it when we make our return trip. Special projects? Absolutely! You can bet I'm particularly keen on the Divine Feminine Project. Just you wait until that movement evolves. Yes, it will be transformational when it clicks into place, but that's only the beginning. It's going to expand across the globe, shifting consciousness in ways beyond your present ability to see. In fact, it's so powerful that in short order, the old ways will be a distant memory, like a bad dream, if you ask me. Okay, ladies, get out there and bust some balls on behalf of Divine Feminine Rising. She's rising like a cobra, sensuous and powerful ready for action and not afraid to take on the world, troglodytes included, a genuine force of nature. And just like that, she's off on another adventure because you can't keep a good woman down even if she's presently disembodied. If you enjoy conversations from the afterlife, check out this playlist to be charmed, entertained, and sometimes astonished to hear what the departed have to say. Thank you for watching. This is Deborah Lupien, Voice of the Akashic Records. Until next time, bye.